Okay, I thought that this was just going to be a regular Sunday to my marketplace, but uh, it turned into an opportunity to show, to show you something really special. Here's a little market and I'm going to take you through and show you what this is all about. Plastic Project, which is uh, funded by, it's also a grant program of Switch Asia. Yep. It's a EU funded project in Asia where they yep. develop sustainable oh, uh, development goals, SDG goals, and yes. uh, we are a project that's reducing uh, plastic usage in individual day to day life and also waste management in factories and SMEs. So our project runs for four years. It's starting from August 2020 and it is supposed to end in April, but we have a non cost extension until October 2024. Right. And we're doing uh, three pillars, uh, sustainable waste management, eco-friendly packaging, and consumer awareness. So under the second and third pillar, we do events and campaigns to raise it was awareness. This consumer awareness is yes. the way that I yes. could find you to make yes. this video today. Yeah. Welcome from Respon the Responsible Market. So this booth we are here today. It's it's it's, it's a collaboration between Amanda Art Space and our Mandel Head Initiative. So all the canvas paint we see around the around the corners and everywhere we see here, they are painted by the uh, mental health patients from Ang Clinic, and they do they call it healing with art. Mm -hmm. So they come and paint to relieve their stress and so on. And then these these canvases goes on for more than 90 feet. So they are here today uh, selling some of their works. Uh, they are called psychosocial artist work. Mm -hmm. So whoever purchases this work, the money will go back to the, contribute their well-being. So this market today represents a lot of things that I really want this channel to be about. Supporting local Burmese craft artisans, all things green and recyclable, and I guess the beauty and the craft art artisanship of uh, the Burmese people. So uh, I really think that this is a fantastic initiative. All that I just stumbled into when I was doing my regular Sunday shop at Marketplace. So these are the things that are so sweet and touching that it just makes me want to cry. See this young man behind me? He's still selling stickers for 1,000 chats. Currently the exchange rate is 3,550 chats to one US dollar. The Burmese people are so very beautiful and so very talented and uh, yeah, look how very hard working they are. Very, very talented. I just find some things about Myanmar are so deeply moving. So when people ask me, what are you doing in Myanmar? I can understand. What's this one about? So this is nice garments. So yeah. they, they are they, they joined this booth because they produce these tote bags for prevent plastics. Yep. And these are one of the hit tote bags. Because yep. usually when we receive tote bag, the size is a bit small, so it's not shop shopper friendly. Yeah. Because they can't put all the shopping things that they purchase. But the sizes are quite big. And they also took some of the environmental training from provided by Prevent Plastics. So they're here today to promote their work as a garment factory, but responsible garment. So these two books, they use eco-friendly packaging to pack their products and food. So that's yep. why we're featuring them today. Right. And this is the main focus of all the food vendor here because they produce uh, eco-friendly Erica boxes. Mm -hmm. So which is the perfect alternative for plastic packaging when it's come to food. And we have several suppliers here, but they can offer the cheapest price. And right. They do a lot of trainings and uh, uh, collaboration with Prevent Plastics. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here today. Erica. I tell you, so interesting. Thank you. This one is one of the Instagrammable foods that we, ah. see. we see day to day on social media because they serve their food, the noodles, the spinach noodle in a lotus leaf. Yes. So that's why once it is packed, it is ah, nice. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, very lovely.
Now. This is Tukuya. They are one of the uh, urban farming uh, farm and responsible business in Myanmar where they uh, do not damage the soil. Uh, they work on soil revolutions and keeping the nutrient all the soil can provide. But today they are selling their drinks mm -hmm. and they are wrapper bags. So wrapper bag is recycled uh, paper bag yeah. where the community near the women community near Kukuya gather around to make this paper bag right. for shop to use. Honey, but they sell it in glass bottles. Right, so it's sustainable in yes, the glass and you bottles. Can use and refill as well. And they offer several flavors like passion fruit, uh, lemon, and stuff, which is very nice. Oh. And they're giving free sample today. Oh, nice. And it's cool, perfect with today weather. Yeah, That's perfect because we're nearly what? Nearly 40 degrees. Okay. This is Burmese chick, uh, where they uh, provide lots and lots of cute Burmese handicraft mm -hmm. coming from rattan and all those uh, natural materials. Hello. Now we're here at a, a plant shop where they they have lots and lots of indoor plants mm -hmm. for air purification. Yeah, air purification, beautiful. So what I find really deeply touching is that even in these difficult times, people try to keep joy and hope in their hearts. I see the shiny youth of Myanmar that are still here, trying to promote their country, showing their beautiful skills and abilities. And uh, yeah, it's something that uh, I find very touching today about being here. told that these slippers are not only environmentally sustainable, non-plastic, decoratively beautiful, but they're also a good mama slipper. It's also made from ginger and uh, fermented kombucha, also okay. fermented lemongrass. Uh, fermented lemongrass and fermented ginger. Yes. Beautiful. It's really from the Northern Shan State. Oh, Northern Shan State, Cambodia. Okay, great. Coconut purse, plant, plant holders, and jingles. Yep. And a lot of even rings. I know, it's beautiful. I have one wearing here. And it looks like some of it's like that yeah, famous yeah, yeah, lacquerware. Yeah. Yes, yes. But like they do in Bago, yeah. it's the same Bagan, idea. Yes. Sorry, Bagan, I mean. Yes, yes Bago, Bagan. <laughs> they are similar. Yeah, beautiful. Burmese crop, and they are, these are made by people with disabilities. Okay. Uh, so. Just so disabled people yes. making this are fantastic. Yeah. So yeah, you can you can also see him, his wife, and the whole uh, community. They are support. They are from a, a school that teach. Um, how can I say? Ah, I forgot the words. <laughs> Vocational, vocational training, vocational training yes, skills, vocational training skills. So to teach they hire skills. The students from vocational training ah. for people with disabilities. Beautiful. So the whole team is working on making beautiful clothes. Yes, lovely. What a fantastic initiative. So this is shoe and umbrella repair because uh, Unlike the West, we don't throw it out. You can actually get things fixed and repaired here. So uh, better to keep and maintain and restore because we still have the craft artisans and the people here that can do this in Myanmar. Fantastic. Yeah. Tissue boxes out of the coffee sachet. Oh, that's so he works in, a, he works in a factory and people wear a lot of garment workers drink coffee mix. Ah. So they, he gather all those uh, waste from, uh, from his co worker. Yeah, to amazing products. Beautiful. They are very doable. Yes. Fantastic. Create handicraft out of uh, 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 card pieces, fabric card pieces, where they create into these products from uh, using fabric card pieces. Fabric card. Oh, that's amazing. 
separate so, cards. Yes, yes. She also have a group of people from IDP areas creating this product. Right. And she managed to help sell it. Hey. Yeah. 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 So this one is a, it's, it's the seeds. Uh, it's a fruit, typically, but from a tree. It's a nature grow uh, seeds, yeah. which you can create into necklace, uh, bracelet, and earrings, and a lot of things that your creativity goes. So I'm also wearing one of their products. Yeah. So these are also jade seed, which Karen traditional dress with the jade seeds um, decorated into uh, flowers. And they also have shore. So we promote recycling, which is a patchwork of all the fabric cut pieces, but they're so creative. They put everything into a very nice creation, which customers couldn't insist to not buy. Mm -hmm. so they have a lot of creative products like books, uh, shirts, and a lanyard, and handband out of uh, fabric waste. Firefly candle, uh, where they do a scented candle uh, with recycled glass jars and candy. And these are the products that they are selling. So they are basking and they are selling their product as well. And their music is very incredible. They sing in Burmese, they sing in English, which is very nice. Shampoo bars, which is a good replacement for shampoo bottles, which reduce significant amount of plastics. So these shampoo bars, uh, they also have a uh, body butter and all the skincare product which we need, but it's without plastic or they're using less plastic than we needed to. And this is a local bakery called Kaya Butter where they pack, they have lot, peanut butter and cashew nut butter actually, and they have lots of flavor, crunchy and smooth and sweet or unsweetened and they are also packed in without plastic so. This is Trampapu Lotus and this is also another organization which uh, promotes their work by people with disability. Also people from ITB and from Chin State, uh, they make these beats. They are from Chin State area and these are some of the work done by people with disabilities and their crop work. Kachin. Kachin. I said chin, so I said chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are Kachin products. Kachin. Made by uh, IDB. IDB. Camps. People from IDB camps. This is called Nobercup, which is a substitute for natural uh, products, which is also a big uh, product that is polluting our oceans and environments. So by replacing our pets and tampon into natural cup, it reduces lots and lots of waste. So we are featuring this product, especially for women, uh, to change into their eco-friendly behavior. A Burmese traditional uh, container, ceramic container where you can purchase Different boxes. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Very creative upcycling here where they cut the uh, uh, beer bottles and ripley bottles, um, creating into plant spot, uh, glasses, candle holder and all those creative Yes, things. yeah, beautiful. Products. Uh, they, their idea mainly is to replace the a button that we use for clothing. Uh, they are plastics and they are imported, so they want to replace the buttons with coconut uh, buttons. But now they don't have the button product here. Maybe they sold out, but they have earrings and necklaces. These are actually the coconut buttons, which are uh, locally made oh, and we carry yes, off. Oh yes, I've seen those. Yes, I love really them nice. in the clothing. Yes. That's beautiful. I love those so much. Amazing Grace, uh, where also they make a handicraft out of uh, waste, fabric and uh, paper. So they are also supporting uh, people with disabilities. Yes. So they have such a very nice products for women especially. So they have a lot of cute products which you can see here. And I've already bought Amazing Grace's products. I've got these ones, some beautiful black and white ones, and a bracelet from here as well. So whenever I get the chance, I'm always supporting Burmese handicrafts. I go to Jim and I to buy my recycled clothes, and that was why I was so very excited today when I found this sustainable market. So I'm um, really lucky that I got a guide 
to show us through all of here today and I hope to bring you many more of this type of content because really this is what I want my channel to be about supporting um, Burmese initiatives, giving joy and hope to people in their enterprises, uh, supporting Burmese craft artisans and uh, yeah, I uh, really hope that this message gets out to you all that uh, you can support and bring some beautiful homemade joy into your life as well. This here behind me, um, we were just talking about it. I said it reminds me of uh, Costiera Amalfitana, a Malfi handmade um, papers. And my friend was just explaining that this lady constantly is improving her process, yes, right? Yes, indeed. Because I worked with her two years ago. Her product was that time really, really nice. But day plus by and years plus by, she's yeah. been improving her technique on eco prints now so well that her products are one of the customer favorite. Looks photo realistic, so lovely. I was just given a little gift. So I hope you enjoyed today's video on this sustainable market and I hope to bring you a lot more content like this. So for this week, it's out for Miss Lisa in Yangon, me and my capsule in the next one.